is with a semi-automatic gun. She's through pumps one and two. Carry around cash in your pocket. Yeah. This was supposed to be a regular day at this filling station, but it turned into a nightmare for those present. People in the station were all trying to get their cars filled up. That was when the most unexpected thing happened. Something exploded and caused a rather serious fire in the gas station. The people in the station immediately started running in terror for their dear lives. Some other persons ran into their cars and drove off quickly to avoid losing their cars or their lives. This is one of those scenes you only see on Netflix, except that this one is real, and it happened at a gas station. A young lady was trying to fill up her tank at the gas station when this man pulled up in a Cadillac. He got out of the car and snatched her purse. He was running back to the car when his victim did the most unexpected thing. And once Janelle Della Libera realized she was being ripped off in broad daylight on a Saturday afternoon while... She ran after him and jumped on his car, moved to the driver's side and struggled with him. At the end of the tussle, she fell off the moving car and sustained some terrible injuries. My legs were out and his driver's side tire drove over my foot. Janelle was left lying on the ground, injured. She would never forget that encounter in her life. This was supposed to be a normal day in this gas station but some Mission Impossible drama was about to go on. This black guy pulled up to fill up his tank. Only that he wasn't really fueling his car. He was trading some unwanted substance. After a while, Two black cars came in and were very close to this black guy's car. That was when he knew something was going on. What followed looks like a choreographed scene from an action movie. The black guy tried to run into his car quickly. Policemen emerged from all of these black cars and prevented this guy from escaping. Apparently he is a highly wanted criminal, and that scene happened because the police were smart enough to arrest him. This man was in the gas station trying to get some fuel when this woman approached him and asked for a favor. She asked to use his cell, to which the gentleman courteously agreed. He pulled up and approached the driver with a plea for help. Oh, uh, I have an emergency. However, he wasn't ready for the drama that was about to follow. The woman turned and ran off with his cell phone towards a white car back to her SUV as Vincent chased her, struggling. The victim realized it and chased after her, struggling with her to get back his phone. The car was moving, but he didn't care. I was more wrestling with her, so I grabbed her hair and I was holding the side of the door. After a tussle, he was thrown off the car by the passengers and sustained some injuries. One look at this footage, and it seems you know exactly what's going on. The cashier is being robbed. At first glance, this may look like an assault and robbery. But cops in Georgia say it was all an act, so these two could steal $5,000 from him. After the incident, he is questioned by the police, who come to the scene based on a report of a robbery. First time, like, uh, 30 minutes, like, uh, what, what was his, what did he look like? Give me a description. What was he when they question the cashier, he gives his side of the story. However, the police ask another worker who works behind some questions. This worker claims he didn't see the thief. However, the cops find a huge amount of money on him. All that cash is yours. In my pocket. You just carry around cash in your pocket. Yeah. They watch the camera footage again and see some similarities between the other worker and the robber. When this worker is deeply questioned, he opens a can of worms. Curtis and say he came clean. What did, was your intention to do this by yourself? No, it was staged. It was staged. He admits he and the other guy staged the robbery. They are both under police custody. This woman is busy with her business at this gas station. Little does she know she's about to become a victim. She's standing outside her car, minding her own business. A car is parked beside hers, with some guys inside. Suddenly, something strange happens that even the woman doesn't notice. One of the guys in the other car got out and opened the door to the lady's car. He took out a bag and quickly got back into his car. 
They quickly drove off, leaving the woman oblivious to whatever happened. This man came into the gas station store looking innocent. However, he had some dark motives in mind. Happening now, Atlanta police asking for your help tonight, identifying this man wanted for armed robbery. It happened earlier this month at the Exxon. He went outside the shop and came back with an iron bar. What he did next was very shocking. Metropolitan Parkway near University Avenue. You can see the man hitting one of the coin machines with a the sledgehammer there. He's one of two suspects. An employee at the gas station. He used the iron to break one of the coin machines open. He hit it repeatedly until the machine was open. He and his accomplice, who held the workers at gunpoint, were able to leave the place with a whooping 1,000 USD. This man was trying to fill his tank at this gas station. He pulled up, got out of the car, a black BMW, and started filling his car. Time road shows Felipe Flores filling up his VW Passat Sunday morning around 10.30. At that same time, a purple car pulled into the station and something rather scary occurred. Pull up. Then within seconds, a man wearing a red vest hops out of the purple car, gets into the already running VW, then both cars bolt. One of the occupants of the car came out and in split seconds, got into the BMW and zoomed off immediately. The purple car followed and both cars were out of sight in no time. The poor owner couldn't even comprehend what was happening. He had become the victim of an opportunistic crime. He stood in shock and watched helplessly as his car was driven away. While Flores watches on, I was like This woman was trying to fill up her tank when something surprising happened. Another car pulled up to the gas station and one of its occupants, a masked male, came out. He tiptoed towards the woman's car and slipped into the driver's seat. The woman saw him and knew that her car was about to be jacked. In that instance, she spontaneously reacted. She jumped into the car and held on so tight she couldn't fall off. The culprit tried to move away, but the woman held on. This scared the thief, who decided to run away instead of taking such a dangerous chance. He got out, and they zoomed off while the woman regained control of her car. In a gas station, a man was filling his car, but he was not aware that something weird was about to happen. A black guy walked up to the car and did the most shocking thing. Police say the bare-chested suspect was first caught on video walking around the van at the BP gas station on 18th Avenue. Video then shows the suspect getting... He got into the driver's seat and tried to jack the car. The owner of the car reacted immediately and tried to get the guy out, but he could not. The people in the car were scared to their bones and got out, leaving only the culprit in the car. While three female passengers sat inside, they soon ran out of the vehicle. Immediately, the culprit sped off with the car, leaving the whole family scared and distraught. Two men walked casually into the gas station store. They were on masks, but that wasn't anything to worry about. People wear masks all the time. Police are looking for two men who robbed the Shell gas station. One of them went straight to the cashier and asked for something. As the cashier bent down, something happened. Take a look at this video. Detectives say two Hispanic men wearing hoodies and face masks entered the business across the street from Sony Pictures. They threatened the employees with a semi-automatic gun. The masked man brought out a gun and pointed it at the other worker in the shop. His partner joined him, bringing out his gun too. They made both workers lie down. Together, they robbed the store of dollar four thousand and left the workers in shock. Away with about four thousand dollars. This person was leaving the gas station store, not knowing he was about to become a victim. He walked up to his car and got inside. Then something weird happened. From the car back beside him, a man came out and sneaked into the victim's car. He opened the door and took a bag. The thief ran back to his car, got in, and drove off before the victim could really do anything. All the victim could do was run after the culprit's car, even though he was never going to catch up. He just ended up putting his hands on his head in regret. It was a beautiful day at this gas station, and things went perfectly fine. Then. An unexpected thing happened. Out of nowhere, a car drove into the gas station at top speed and ran into one of the gas pumps, destroying it in the process. The car was also damaged, but thankfully there was no fire. 
The person behind the wheels got out unhurt and immediately took off on foot without looking back. A few moments later, another car came into the filling station. It was a cop car. The cop brought out his gun and checked the car. It was now clear. The cops were chasing the guy in the car. When he saw no one was there, he ran after the culprit. In this video, a man walks into the store of a gas station carrying a trash can. In just a wild video, the employee did receive injuries after running through the flames and was treated for first degree burns. The he dumps the trash can on the floor and exchanges some words with the sales rep. Of course, the rep would question the suspect for bringing a trash can to the store. The footage you're looking at right here posted to Facebook by the Detroit Police Department shows the suspect dumping a trash can into the store. He proceeds to taunt the gas. But more crazy and sinister things were about to happen. What he does. Uh, he lights that garbage on fire. The man bent down and lit the garbage he had brought into the store up. What followed was a raging fire that rampaged the store while the suspect ran off, leaving the victim to suffer serious burns. Business was going on as usual at this gas station until this black car pulled into the station. Of course, it wasn't out of place for a car to pull up, but this was no normal car. The doors of the car opened and out came two gunmen. They walked up to a certain white car and asked the owner, a lady, to get down. It was a terrifying scene at a gas station in the middle of the day. Watches two. What follows is a script from Hollywood. The female driver, police say panicked, hit the gas and sped off. The woman in the car responded by driving her car out of the station. One of the suspects opened fire on her car and they tried to chase after her. When they noticed they couldn't get her, they ran off and left the station. This gas station was all thorough and proper until something happened. This disgruntled man came into the store after harassing some customers outside. First, he demanded an apology and then he went on a full rampage, destroying things in the shop. The man moved from one part of the store to another, trashing whatever he could find. He came back to the front desk and damaged everything he could find there. The sales rep asked him time and time again to leave, but this man was adamant and just kept wrecking like Ralph. Man to please leave or 911 will be called. After what looked like a decade of wrecks, the man walked off after grabbing a box of products, leaving the store like a junkyard. The police later arrested the man and took him to the hospital. In this gas station, things were going on gradually, but then something tragic occurred. Someone drove into the gas station. While trying to fill the tank, he started smoking a cigarette. It happened. As he continued, something scary happened. You don't see every day a fire sparking at the VP Racing Fuels gas station in Stuttgart. It moves from the car to the pump. The fuel tank caught fire. The fire moved to the pumping machines. The man involved just ran away from the car. However, the fire was quickly put out and very little damage was done. The man who caused the fire just got into his car and drove off. That's how terrible it can be. Just a cigarette could make a disaster. It looked like another regular day at this gas station. However, some serious heist was going on. One of the workers at this station noticed the gas level was going down rather drastically. He alerted the police and they came to the scene. The police started checking around and noticed this white SUV hadn't moved for a while. They carefully checked the SUV and decided to question its occupants. The police made a move to open up the trunk and you wouldn't believe what they found. Right in the car was a siphoning machine that was used for stealing gas at stations. The culprits were taken in by the police for theft. What happens at this gas station is a pure case of dark heist. Everything is going well at this gas station when a black minivan pulls up, spends some time and leaves. It all looks safe, but something sinister is going on. The man 
driving over the underground fuel storage container lids at the family-owned Fuquay Express gas station off of Beltway 8 in southwest Houston. The gas station manager... The station's manager is observing this minivan but notices no foul play. It takes a while, but the manager finally gets it. They hit us the, the, like the days where we were paying like a real premium. The suspects in the minivan are stealing diesel from one of their reservoirs. They pack over the reservoir and work from a custom-made trap door. The manager becomes aware and chases them away by the fourth day. By this time, they had stolen a cumulative dollar 5,000 worth of diesel. It's a normal day at this gas station as people are coming in to fill up their tanks. I want you to take a look as it is caught on camera. Imagine pumping... This man is trying to fill up his car when another car pulls up. The driver of this car comes out and does something shocking and amazing. The Arco on Watt Avenue and Blackfoot Way on Sunday. The men... He takes the pumping nozzles and puts them in his car. He waits for an unsuspecting customer to come. When the customer comes and starts pumping the gas, he starts pumping too. What this means is that the new guy accounts for the gasoline he buys. Pull up. Manager Bobby Joel sharing it? The manager of the gas station saw it and took action. They refunded the affected customer. It's a regular day at this gas station and things are going well. Strange incident at a gas station in Massachusetts. The station's fire suppression system malfunctioned. As usual, activities occur. Something unexpected occurs. Blanketed customers with foam. Look at that. The plume of fire retardant caused quite a mess there. Three people reported trouble breathing, but there weren't any serious injuries, thankfully. The station's fire suppression system malfunctions, releasing all its dowsing powder. This causes a white, cloudy after effect, which leaves some people unable to breathe. Of course, there was no fire at the initial moment, but the suppression system must have acted based on some signal. While no life was lost, it's still a mystery that remains unsolved. In this gas station, something that can only be classified as dark is about to happen. This man is seen in the feeling station, and he looks like he's filling the tank. Park, a car caught fire at a gas station. This happened on Ramona Boulevard near the... But upon closer look, it becomes evident that's not what's happening. Instead, he is pouring gasoline on the car. After that, the man does the most unexpected thing. So five freeway. Security video shows a car pull up to a pump. The driver gets out. He ignites a lighter and throws it in the car. The car goes into flames immediately and the culprit shifts. Luckily for the passenger in the seat, he is able to react immediately and get out before it's too late, while the culprit tries to open the driver's door but is greeted by flames. Passenger side, where it appears he is talking to somebody. Look at this. There was a flashbang. You see that. When he sees the passenger, he puts on his hoodie and walks away. Soon the whole station is engulfed in flames. And within minutes, the car burst into flames. It did not take long for the fire to spread across the structure either. This gas station clerk was simply going about her duties when an unknown man entered the store. The man acted like he wanted to buy something. So she thinks. But after a few moments, he reveals his true color. The man pulls out a gun. He asks the clerk to bring all the money to the cash register. The clear fidgets as she opens the cash register and gives the man everything in there. Next, the man demands that she open the second cash register, which she does, and gives him everything from there. What if he would have gotten to that one? What would he have really Not still satisfied, he asked for her purse and took the last two dollars she had. Last two dollars. Oh, yeah, sir. All right, thank you. I felt very After this, the man turns and works out of the store. The clerk is transfixed until the next customer comes into the shop. No! No! I just got wrong. Are you okay? Really? No! Weeks later, a little tip helps the police arrest the culprit and put him behind bars. This lady was trying to fill her tank at a gas station, but she had no idea she was about to experience a tragedy. While she's getting her tank filled, a man sneaks up to her car and gets into the driver's seat without her knowing. When a man slides into the driver's seat, unbeknownst to her, and drives away with her vehicle. She continues filling the gas without knowing what's going on. The suspects waited patiently in the car for her to finish. When she was done, she was greeted with a surprise. The guy get in the car. He waited until I finished. The suspect zooms off immediately. The victim runs after the car, but it's too late. She ends up with her hands on her head as she realizes what has just happened to her. It happened so fast, Michelle Welch was left with hands on her head. The camera shows this young man coming into the gas station store, carrying a bucket in his hand. 
He opens the door and immediately pours the contents of the bucket into the store. The next thing he does is rather shocking. He brings out a lighter and turns it on, igniting a fire in the store. Now it's apparent the suspect was carrying some gasoline in the bucket. With the store gradually burning, the suspect runs out of the store immediately, leaving the place in flames. There's no doubt the store must have really burned. A white SUV pulled into this gas station and moved towards one end. Alpha Auto Fuel. It backs into a parked pickup. It's then suddenly, something catastrophic happened. Races across the lot, smashes through pumps one and two. It continues forward and hits two. The car moves at top speed and smashes the two pumps in its way, creating an instant fire in the process. The owner of the station sees the flames and runs out immediately with a fire extinguisher to put it out. Mantis runs outside, grabs a fire extinguisher, and tries to... However, his extinguisher finishes, and he runs for another one. While he's getting it, the anti-fire system of the station is triggered and releases dousing powder to save the day. ...extinguisher and goes to grab another. Just then, the station's fire suppression system kicks in, spraying retarded... The driver in the car gets out, makes a call, and then runs away from the scene. Driver, who Mantis says appears to be in her 20s or 30s, gets out, apparently not severely hurt. She grabs her phone, appears to call someone, then runs down... This white young man pulled into a gas station to get some fuel. He came out of his car with a lit cigarette in his hand. One of the employees saw this and asked the young man to put it out for safety reasons. The young man refused to heed the warning and kept on smoking his cigarette. The employee seemed to have had enough of his nonchalance and arrogance. He worked up to the pump where the young man was. What the employee did next was amazing. He picked up a fire extinguisher and douched the young man along with his cigarette. That must have taught him not to smoke at a gas station. It was a rather quiet day at this gas station when a silver car pulled into the gas station and stopped. The passenger's door opens and a black male figure comes out of the car. He moves in a rather sneaky manner towards another car parked in the gas station. The owner of the car is filling his tank and is oblivious to the foreign presence. The suspect gets to the other car and does something shocking. He opens the door and picks something out of the car. He immediately gets back into his car and the driver zooms off leaving the owner of the car he robbed in shock. In this gas station, a lot of people are following the norm, pulling up, filling their gas cars, and then leaving. But someone else has another motive. This man came into this gas station with the intention of jacking a car. He had chosen the car of his choice and was almost successful in jacking when something happened. This is the tail end of an interesting ordeal in Wyandotte. He was stopped by a police officer who was off duty and pinned to the ground along with the help of other people present. In fact, there is a police station right across the gas station. Right across the street. And Tommy... So it was easy to take him in. It was a quiet night before this young black man walked into the store of a gas station. He went straight for a product and then walked up to the counter to pay the sales rep. As expected, he dipped his hand into his pocket to retrieve some money. However, instead of money, something else came out. The young man pulled out a gun and pointed it at the sales rep. He demanded all the cash in the store. The sales rep obliged and handed him what he wanted. When he got it, he simply ran out of the station. 